Question 6. Helen carries out a survey on healthy eating. She uses two questions in her questionnaire. Question 1 is what is your age? Under 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, over 60. Question 2. You should eat fruit every day. You do agree, don't you? Yes, no, don't know. Part A says write down one thing wrong with each of these questions. Um, the best way to do this is to actually look at the mark scheme. So here's the uh, mark scheme and it says um, you get two marks for any of the following two. Overlapping response boxes. Okay. Too personal to ask someone's age. Um, it, the second part, the second question is a leading question or it's a biased question and also there's no units. If you only put one of the above then you get one mark. Okay, so if you actually have a look at the questions, so what is your age is too personal and also these tick boxes are overlapping, 20 to 40, 40 to 60. If you were 40 years old, you could either tick there or here. Okay, you wouldn't know which one to tick, so there's overlapping response boxes. This is a leading or biased question. You should eat fruit every day. You do agree, don't you? And that's it. Okay, so that's two marks for two of those points. So, part B says, Helen wants to find out the amount of fruit people eat. Part B says design a question that Helen could use in her questionnaire. So you could do something like, how many pieces of fruit do you eat in one day? Question mark. This here is the most important bit, it has a time period. Okay, um, so I need some response boxes. So I'm going to do four. Um, so zero, one, two, or two or more. Okay, so this is a two mark question. And let's have a look at what the mark scheme says. First of all, it has to be a sensible question with a time period. Okay, so one day would get you one mark. And at least three response boxes that don't overlap. Okay, would get you the second mark there. Okay, and that's two marks. So, next part is the table shows some information about the people at Helena's, uh, Helen's College. So you've got male, female, you've got students and teachers as well. So for example, 536 are male students, 73 are female teachers, you've got 48 male teachers and 384 students who are females. Helen is going to ask people at her college to do a questionnaire. She asks a sample of 100 people stratified by type and gender. Part C says work out the number of female teachers in her sample. Okay, so she's going to ask 100 people, 100 people uh, stratified by type and gender. So work out the number of female teachers in her sample. A female teachers, we have 73 out of a total of how many people in this school. So we're going to add, add up all these numbers. So 536, add 384, add 48, add 73, how many people at her school? That gives us 1,041 people at this school, okay? So 73 out of 1,041 is the proportion of teachers who are female. Okay, 73 out of 1041. So if she's going to ask 100 people, okay, I need to find that proportion of 100, so I'm going to times that by 100. And that gives me 73 over 
times by 100 that's going to give us 7.0124 of a person okay so you're going to round that to seven people so if she's going to ask 100 people she's going to have to ask seven female teachers in her sample okay now this is a two mark question for part C one mark is for the method and the second for the final answer of seven as you can't get 7.01 of a person and that's it